In this Roblox Studio tutorial, we are continuing with part 4 of, how to make a simulator game on Roblox. Let's get both the leader stats and barrel counting working. And if you were confused about where to start in the last video, I'll show you how to actually use the barrel generation. Let's get started. In the last video, we created this barrel generation script. If you don't have that just create a new script under server script service, and call it barrel generation. We are going to add one line, to this script to name the part. Here on line 21, type this as shown. This part we are generating, can be anything you want it to be, such as a coin etc. Okay, that script is done. Next, add a new local script under start character scripts. Type this code out as shown. Pay attention to capital letters and syntax. This code is checking if the player touches a part called barrel. And fires an event if true. We just have one more script to add. Under server script service click on the plus sign and add a new script. Call this script stats, with a capital S. Inside this script, write out this code. Pay attention to capital letters and syntax. The currency add is a remote event. It needs to be called exactly the same, to how we declared it in the local script. Continue writing this stat script. That completes the stat script. Let's run it to see if it works. Watch the top right hand corner, as I run around touching the barrels the counter is being updated. And also the barrels are getting destroyed. That's working great. Okay, let's hook up our GUI so that it updates as well. Under starter player scripts, open up the local script that we were just working on. We just have a few lines of code to add to this. First, we need to access the player GUI in order to change the value in the GUI. Now we are storing the current count value in a variable. The names of these, barrel GUI, image label, barrel counter, should match up with how we set up out GUI. Continue writing this line of code. This line is updating the value. And now we can run it to test. Okay, it didn't work, let's check it. It's giving me an error in the output on line 17. Back in our script. Can you see the problem? This barrel GUI should match with how we set it up, which was GUI in capitals. That should do it, let's see. Just keep troubleshooting like this until you fix all the errors. We did it, which completes this part 4 tutorial. We successfully randomized 100 parts to the workspace. And our character was able to run around, and collect them which destroyed the parts. And this added a value to both the counters in the leader stats and our GUI. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.